Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Start with me, Heavenly Amen. Father. Start with us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. As Amen. We... Hallelujah. As we embark on personal deliverance, personal revival instead, as we embark on the topic of personal revival, start with me, Lord. Hallelujah. Start with Amen. us, Lord, in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Stir up the flame, Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. Awaken me first, Lord Jesus. Awaken us first, for the harvest is plenty. Awaken us first. Instill and infuse life in us first. Revive us first Thank you, Jesus. Yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pour out your spirit in us first in the name of Jesus Christ. As we Amen. dwell in your presence, as we tabernacle with our God, may it be that he will pour out his presence, his hold in us first before we can even be the agents of change out today. Let yes, him Lord. pour out in us first in the name Thank of you. Jesus Christ. Amen. For in his presence, all things are possible. Amen. In his presence, there is no broken body. Hallelujah, that he Amen. cannot mend in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In his presence, there is no soul that he cannot save. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. In his presence, there is alignment of purpose and destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Amen. his presence, all fear dissipates. In his presence, we gain courage. In his presence, we got to understand and regain the understanding and insight of who we are. We regain our self-identity in him. In his presence, we get to understand and have a revelation of who God is. Hallelujah. In his presence, as we tabernacle with him, every good thing becomes alive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In in his presence, we awaken out of mental fatigue, out Thank of you. mental fogness, out of being clouded, out of mental clutter. In his presence, confusion dissipates. There is order and there is peace. In his presence, our relationship with him is reinvigorated. Everything that is dead comes to life. Our intimacy with him becomes alive. We see him. Our eyes behold him. We're talking about personal revival, where it starts with us, when he pours himself in us, before we can venture out for the harvest is plenty years, but may he start with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to the word of God now. Exodus. Chapter 3, verse 14. The revelation of who he is when he appears. Exodus 3, verse 14. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? Verse 13. Exodus chapter 3, verse 13. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? Verse 14. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thou shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent unto you in his presence. When he personally revived us, we get that understanding of who he is. We understand who he is. And when he says to me, when he says to you, I am that I am, he's saying, I am that I am in you. Such that when you face Pharaohs of your life, you will understand and have the conviction that indeed, you are who 
cocoon that God has made, like he said to Moses, I will make you a God in front of the pharaohs of your life. Hallelujah. In his presence, may God revive us so that we get the revelation now of who we are. Hallelujah. Who we are. Judges chapter 6, verses 11, 12, 14, 15, and 24. And there came an angel of the Lord. Judges chapter 6, verse 11. And there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak. I mean, when he appears, when he shows up, things can never be the same. Things have got to change. And there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak, which was an opera that pertained unto Joash the Abizrael. And his son, Gideon, threshed wheat by the one press to hide from the Midianites, for he did not know. He did not as yet have a revelation of who he was. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Verse 14. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent thee? Verse 15. And he said unto him, O oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I'm the least in my father's house. Then Gideon, verse 24, built an altar there unto the Lord and called it Jehovah Shalom. So at this point in time, he moved from not knowing who he is. But when God appeared, when an angel of the Lord appeared, showed up, and the situation was different, the atmosphere, the presence of God was there. Gideon got to understand who he was. And as we see in verse 24, he later went and built an altar for the Lord. And he called that place peace, Jehovah Shalom. Let us pray that we can have a revelation of who God is, I am that I am in you, and that we can get a revelation of who we are when God shows up so that we can then step in into whatever God has called us and then put a stone and a mark that the peace of God shall prevail. Amen. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying, Father God, that you will reveal yourself to us, Lord, for personal Jesus, so that we know who you are. Father, in the name of Jesus, who you are to us, Lord. And we know Osiam, that you are saying a God and you never did no the name of Jesus. Oh yes, and Lord, we do not have a we do not with you Moses, are. Father. So we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we will get a revelation of God. When Osiam and Amanda go and say we must go up there and make disciples of God, we have a revelation us in the name of God, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, in the name of oh yes, Father God, remove all obstacles, Father, in the name of Jesus, and surrender to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, amen, amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. As we pray for personal revival, as the Lord moves us from one level to the other, reveals himself to us, may our eyes be open to be bold to step out with unshaken faith Amen. and boldness assured of our salvation. Just like the blind man in John 9, verse 25, speak with unshaken faith and conviction, assured of our salvation, knowing who we are and knowing who our God is. John 9, 25 says, he answered and said when he was questioned, whether he is a sinner or not, I don't know. I know not. But one thing I know is that whereas I was blind, now I can see. 
Let us pray for our eyes to be open, that we can then step out with boldness and faith assured of our salvation, so that people they can hear the word and believe in Christ. Let us pray. He was able to speak with boldness, but I do not know, I may not understand a lot of things, but one thing that I know is that I was trying to know I speak. I could not, or maybe I did not know, I did not take this yet. But when we become together, we will trust in you, and who we are, we will not wait. Father, we are the eyes of our hearts, we are the eyes of our hearts, and we will step out of the eyes of our hearts, and we will step out of the eyes of our hearts, and we will go out there to us, and we will step out of our hearts, that you are with us in the name of Jesus. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise you. Oh, yes, Father God. Oh, yes, Jesus. We said to them we must be out there and make disciples, Father. We speak to them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Hallelujah, Father God. As we get the revelation of who you are in our lives, the revelation of who you are in our lives, Heavenly Father, in our eyes are open. Revelation, Father God, in our personal revival, in our encounter with you, my God, help us to recognize our helpers, those whom you will send our way to align our paths with our destinies. Exodus chapter 7, verse 1 to 2. Okay, and the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh, and Aaron, thy brother, shall be thy prophet. There's a helper there. Verse 2, thou shalt speak all that I command thee, but Aaron, thy brother, shall speak unto Pharaoh that he sent the children of Israel out of his land. First Samuel chapter 9, I'll read verse 7 to 8. First Samuel chapter 9. Verse 7, then said Saul to his servant, but behold, wow. if we go, wow. what shall we bring the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring to the man of God. What have we? And the servant, one that was below, one that was lower in position, and the servant, answered Saul again and said, Behold, I have here at hand the fourth part of the shekel of the silver that will, will I give to the men of God to tell us our way. Verse 11. And as they went up the hill to the city, they found young maidens going out to draw water and said unto them, Is the seer here? And they answered them and said, he is, behold, he is before you. Make haste now, for he came today to the city, for there is a sacrifice of the people today in high place. Verse 17, and when Samuel, verse 17, and when Samuel saw Paul, the Lord said unto him, behold, the man whom I spake to thee of, this same shall reign over my people. So what we see here, we're praying for God to help us to recognize our helpers along the way. We see Aaron being a prophet that would help his brother Moses. We see a servant that was going to help Saul. Saul did not have, even though Saul was Saul, but his servant is the one who had this pieces, this shekel, this money. He is the one who had, yet he was the servant. We see the handmaidens, the women that were there to draw water, but God had put them in strategic places to help them high guide and tell them where the prophet was leading. Hallelujah. And all that, it was the plan of God. So as God personally developed us, 
revive us in areas where we were dead, unproductive, not functional. May he help us to recognize our helpers along the way. Because we can see in verse 7, that in 17, that then God said, Behold, the, whole, the man whom I speak of the, of the same shall reign over my people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let the donkeys of your life be lost. Let it be. If the sentiments, things that we hold so sentimentally in our lives are lost, let the donkeys be lost. But just in case God knows what he is doing in your life. And when that happens, may he help us to recognize the helpers in a way. In other words, may God help us to align with the helpers that are along our way to accomplish his will and purposes in our lives. Let us pray. We pray that God will help us to recognize our helpers along the way. Let's pray. Zenda Koprokosi to the life everlasting leaders to our helpers in the name of Jesus Christ, one God Almighty, one Oh yes, Father. Oh yes, the last one. Oh yes, Father God, in Jesus' name. The last name. one. As we pray for God to personally revive us, may He help us to be the agents of change. As He appeared unto us, as we have come to have a revelation of who he is, who we are in the name of Jesus Christ, our eyes opened, organized, and being able to recognize who our agents of I mean, our helpers are. Let God help us to be the agents of change. So I'll go to John chapter four. John chapter four, verse nine. Hallelujah. John chapter 4, then said the woman of Samaria unto him, how is it that thou being a Jew asks drinks of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Verse 10, Jesus answered and said unto her, if thou knewest the gift of God and who it is that said to thee, give me to drink, thou would have asked of him and he would have given thee living water. Verse 19, 1, 9, the woman said unto him, say, I perceive that Thou art a prophet. Verse 25 and 26. The woman said unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. And when he's come, he will tell us all things. Verse 26. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. Verse 30. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the same of the woman which testified in the name of Jesus Christ. When we get the revelation of who Christ is, like this woman did, and at first said, I, I perceive you're a prophet, but then this Messiah, I know that he will come, but when he reveals things unto us, I know that I will understand. She gained understanding. To cut the long story short, verse 30 tells us that city believed because of her testimony. So we pray that as we get the revelation of who God is, we understand the helpers, we get the revelation of who we are, that we will then be agents of change and speak with boldness. Let us pray that we will have the boldness to speak and be agents of change in Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for taking with us, my God, and that you will not be the same and that in your presence nothing is impossible. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Back to you, Pastor Light. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Sister Mary. That was awesome. We give God all the praise, all the glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your daughter, your servant, Mary Swane. Father, I pray that your grace will continue to abound in her life. You strengthen her to work stronger and stronger in you. Thank you for what you're using her to do in Canada over there. Lord, I pray that this grace you've implanted within her will soar higher until the fullness of that purpose be actualized. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, thank you once again.